pulse boxes in personal details form or in personal details page. Okay. Okay, um, Kumar, are you able to get this thing why I modified? Okay. Then the user should be logged in as ESS user. Okay, this is your precondition. And remember one more thing. See, in these steps you have written that the ESS user should be able to enter the first name. See, whenever you are writing these steps, Steps means what? You are giving the commands, a sort of command you are giving. Okay, whoever will be executing your test case. Okay, so you are giving some commands to the person whosoever will be executing your test case. So these are the types of commands which you are giving. So the commands should not contain the word should. Okay, if you are commanding it means the person has to do it. Okay, then you you are not supposed to use the word should okay so the thing would be the ESS user will you know, should be able to enter no it should not be like this Okay, it should be like the ESS user will type the name in the first name text box. Okay, now what name do you want the ESS user should type? So that name that whatever you want to give the data in the test uh, like in the first name text box that data you have to give over here. Suppose say I want some name as uh, John. Okay. Then this should be my test data or the data that I want to enter. Okay. As I told you that this data it will be given to you the dummy data would be prepared. Okay. And it would be handed over to you. So the data which is present over there in the document, you have to take that data. Okay. So for now, since we don't have any document with us, so we'll assume any of the names okay, or any of the data. And then your expected result. Okay, so what you have written in the expected result is the first name should appear in the first name box of the application. Okay, this is what you expect from the things. That's correct. Then after that, see, um, after that you have written some two more things over here. These are two different test cases that you are trying to check. Okay, so it should be given different test case ID. Okay, remember the thing that your test cases should be independent of each other because suppose say like up till this point the test cases were given to some other tester and from this test case it is given to some new tester okay to test then what he is going to understand that there is nothing in the description there is nothing in the precondition how is he going to do the things where is that middle name text box I don't know and who is the ESS user how is he logged in into the application so the test cases should not be dependent on each other okay so this should be a different test case ID. Okay. Then after that, whatever description you want to give, what is the precondition and then the steps to be taken. And um, again, see to the things that you are not using the word should over here.
Yes, Pache, I got your test cases. Okay. And Manju, uh, will you please show the login page and the fields available? Okay. Let me tell you that uh, the application, it somewhat looks like this. Okay. We have discussed earlier. So, for the new people who are present, let me just give you a very brief uh, introduction about the application. See, this application is for the uh, human resource ma management people. Okay. And this is used by basically we are testing it for basically two types of users. Okay. The admin users who have all the control of the application. Okay. They can uh, modify, they can delete, they can add any of the things. Okay. And then the second user who is using this application is the ESS user. Okay. Now this ESS user is who uh, are, uh, they fall into the category of the people who are newly joined into the company. Okay, so if any new employee is getting enrolled into the company, so his ID and his information needs to be stored in the database. Okay, and that works needs to be done by the HR people. Okay, so the person or the group of people who would be uh, entering into the application, who would be adding this employee, who would be creating his ID and password, those people are the admin people. Okay, and the second set of people are the ESS user, that is the normal employees who are getting added into the application. Now, the admin people, they will, though they will add the employee into the, um, like, they will add the employee into the organization, they will create their IDs and everything, but while writing down their data, what they will do, they will only fill up the mandatory fields or the important required fields. Okay. And they will tell the new employee, okay, so I have created your ID and password. Now what you can do is you can just log in into the application by your own since you have your ID and password. And then you can add the remaining, your uh, remaining information. Okay. And what are the remaining information? These are the modules or these are the forms that they have to fill. In each and every form, there are certain fields which are not to be edited by the ESS users, okay, or the employees. The, ed the editing on those fields or the modification on those fields could be done only by the admin people or the HR people. So over here in this personal details form, we have five fields like this, which could not be edited by the normal employees. So these details uh, or these fields are the employee IDs the SSN number, the SIN number, the driver license number, and the date of birth. Okay, so these fields are mandatory to be filled by the admin. Okay, and once they are filled by the admin, the ESS user, though he can see the uh, fields over here and the data in that, but he cannot edit it if he wants to. Okay, whereas for the other fields, if uh, like uh, the other fields are also filled by the admin people and now if he feels that uh, he has to change the address or if he has shifted, okay, or if his marital status has changed, so he can change the things. But for these fields, he cannot change any of the things. He cannot do any of the modifications. Okay. Clear, Manju? Okay. And um, Kumar, are you also clear with uh, the modifications that I am trying to say? Let me unmute you. Hey Kumar. Yes ma'am, I understand because uh, yesterday, the day before, whenever the last class we had it, I, I basically understood that what you are saying it makes more sense right now. For example, you say you should not use the word should do that. This is the command because I'm not. If somebody is writing to go and test an application, and this is the command. Do this, and you will get that. You know exactly. So, this is the command yeah. that we are giving. Okay, should would be the word that has to be used in the expected result column only. Okay, because this is what we are expecting from the application. We don't know how it would react when actually we would work onto that application. Okay, so we would use this word should uh, over here in this column that we believe that it should work in this way. Okay, though we are not um, 
we don't have the application with us we can't uh, test we are not testing onto that application we are just writing down the test cases so this is what our expectation is so the should word would be coming up over here okay so uh, Kumar now can you do the modifications and can uh, go ahead with the things are we clear with your things Hey, Kumar? That's good. You want me to do it and submit to you today, right now, or after the class? No, no, no. no not today or right now. I mean, you understood what I tried to Yes, yes, yes. What I'm going to do, end of the class, you know, before I finish my thing, I will have this thing mailed to you tonight. So whenever you get a chance tomorrow, you just can have a look. I will be really appreciated. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll do that. You can mail me the things. Not a problem. Uh, and Kumar, please try to... Okay, I have also done it from my part. Okay, so then after Kumar, let us move on. Okay, so I have got it for Sojanya. Then Sajanya, are you there? Is this your test case? I mean, is this your sheet because Okay, so here it is, right? So your test case ID is tc underscore login underscore zero one. Check the login page. Okay. okay. The steps enter the user ID, enter the password, click on the login button. Okay. Valid. What is that valid username and password that you need to give? Okay, Sajanya. So it should take to Orange HRM. No, we are already in Orange HRM, right? The login page is also for Orange HRM only. It should take us, or it should. Not to the orange HRM, it should take us to the personal details form. Okay. Because the login page is also of orange HRM only. So we can't say that it should take us to orange HR. Now for the second thing, second test case, again for the login page, entering the ID password. So Janya, um, see according to the SRL that we have got, we don't know that what would be the invalid password, right? Since you have written over here in the test data that we would give some invalid password. But over there, there is no requirement given that what should go inside that password text box. Okay, whether it should accept uh, characters or alphanumeric or special characters or what should be the range and anything. So it is not anywhere specified in the document. So if you are entering the password, like this won't do. Okay, 
or if you have written it in this way that you enter the user id and then directly click, click on the login button so that would be fine this means that you are not entering anything in the password text box so automatically yes that would be invalid okay but over here if you are typing any invalid password we don't have the uh, requirement document for the invalid text box so we can't prepare the data that what is the invalid password would be what should, what it could be okay so your expected result says that an error message should be displayed and the user should not be able to log in to the orange hrm successfully okay okay this is fine okay, then you are going on to the personal details form to check the following fields are disabled while entering the personal data personal details okay so the user has logged in and uh, and open okay rather it should be the personal detail page is opened okay then click on the following fields okay that is ssn driver license number sin employee id driver two time then the date of birth okay these fields are gray out and cannot be modified see um, the test case is correct but you could have written it down in a uh, like in a different way because this does not look very much appropriate though your test case is right that you are checking that these fields should not be in the editable format right so check the following fields are while entering the personal details what following fields are we going to check so those following fields are over here okay so over here it would be like um, to check check that the not the mandatory also that the um, okay we can use the term mandatory that the mandatory fields are disabled but we don't need to write about this that while entering the personal details because anyhow if we are writing the test case id if you are writing in the test case id like it is for the personal details this means that you are checking for the personal details forms also okay so this thing is optional i would say okay if you want to write this is uh, not required but if you are writing it is not wrong also okay then the ess user is logged in and the personal detail page is open okay try on the uh, click on the following fields so these all are the fields okay these these fields are gray out and uh, and they cannot be modified they cannot be edited okay okay then the personal details you are checking for the save functionality to check the save button to uh, check the functionality of save button okay not to check the save button the user is logged in and uh, personal detail form detail page is opened okay now click on the personal detail fill all the required information click on why click on personal detail if you are saying that personal detail page is open then why click on personal detail again again the same page will be reloaded right 
So we don't require this step. And see, we cannot write it like this that fill all the required information. We have to like write it down for each and every field. Okay, that we have to enter the um, license expiry date. Okay, then enter the gender, enter the nationality, enter the marital status. Okay, this would, date of birth is already entered. Okay, then after that enter the nickname enter the military service then check the checkbox if you have to okay and then click on the save button okay so what all fields are present you have to uh, like write it explicitly over here and then in the test data over here you have to give that whatever information you write have to write down in the fields that you are asking the tester to test okay so the data would be coming over here for that you have not written about the edit text box no one has written up like neither uh, Kumar like I have checked only two up till now but I didn't see any 